guys, what's up, Jake here. Welcome to a little quick tip in Photoshop, not really a tutorial, um, I try to make this as quick as possible. Um, basically, you guys all know how to uh, export paths to, like, uh, if you use the pen tool, make a like, path or something. You guys know how to export that to Cinema 4D, it's pretty easy. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to export masks, which is a little different. Um, it's basically, uh, it could be a, a lot more time efficient. Uh, first way I'm going to be showing you guys how to use this is open up, let's say someone uh, hands you a text and they say, hey, I want this, can you make this uh, 3D? And they hand you just like a 2D text. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make that 3D really quickly. Um, in my first speed art, I, uh, I'm trying to find this. Uh, here we are. Um, I used this glitch mob text in my first speed art. And what I did is I used the pen tool and individually um, went around each of the uh, text or letters. And it took a long time. And it could have been a lot easier. It could have taken like 10 seconds instead of like 10 minutes. So um, what we're going to be doing is if you have a background on it, you just use this magic wand tool to uh, get rid of it. And once you've done that, just go ahead and control click on this little preview here in your layers then go into your paths tab and click on this button at the bottom and what it'll do is it'll make a work path for your selection if we hide the layer over here we can see our selection our path and what we're going to do is same thing for exporting um, paths just go export paths illustrator hit ok um, just save it as I don't know, tutorial text save that and go into cinema 4d and open it up and hit ok we have the exact same thing that we have over here and if we extrude some nerves uh, probably make this more depth so you can see it better uh, we have our 3D text now, and this is, that's a lot easier than before. Uh, just go ahead and add a material, just see, you can do that. Um, so that's one way, and then the second way, I'm I'm not 100% sure how to get it working right. Basically, um, if we have, I'm going to open up a picture of something like this Ava Palm, for example. Um, if we like, you can, we can get the uh, the outline of it, but if we go into uh, Cinema 4D, I already made a uh, 3D or thing of it. If we go into Cinema 4D and uh, we have the outline of it, like the shape, but I'm still working on trying to get the uh, picture on it working right. Um, like putting it on, on as a texture. So if I get that working right, I'll do a follow-up tutorial for this. But I hope you guys found this little quick tip uh, helpful. Uh, maybe I'll do more of these, maybe not. Hopefully I will. <laughs> Alright, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.